it is Wednesday, or as Miss Barry likes to say, Hump Day. So we are going to get started with our math today. You guys crushed it yesterday and on Monday, and we want to make sure that today we are doing a great job as well. Our I can statement today is the following. I can use base 10 blocks to add by 10. Repeat after me. I can use base 10 blocks to add by 10. How do you think base 10 blocks will help us add by 10s? If I had on the board 20 plus 10, will it, will it be easier to draw counters? Did that seem easier than just doing this? 10, 20. Which one would you prefer to do if you were adding by base 10? Drawing 20 counters out or just drawing two base 10 blocks? Yes, using the base 10 block. So today we're gonna use base 10 blocks to add by 10 because it is a faster way for us to count and also because it's more organized, it helps avoid us making mistakes. Because if the number was 50, I promise you that I probably wouldn't have drawn 50 counters. So today we're going to be using our base 10 blocks and we're going to be combining them together to count and get our answers. Now last week we were speaking about horizontal addition problems and vertical addition problems. We like to add vertically because sometimes it's easier for us to organize our numbers. But what if we couldn't add vertically? What if we had to solve a problem like this? 40 plus 50. How will I use my base 10 blocks to help me solve this problem? Well, first, I will come over to the 40. I know because on Monday I learned how to look out for my 10s. I know that in the number 40, I should have how many base 10 blocks? Yes, four base 10 blocks. I'm gonna use a different color. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40. Notice how my four base 10 blocks are aligned or underneath the number 40. I didn't draw them all across because I still want my work to be organized. Now, I like to bring my plus sign down just because it helps me stay organized. Now on the other side, how many base 10 blocks should I have in the number 50? Awesome, if you said five, kiss your brain. So I'm gonna draw five more over here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now today we said that we can use base 10 blocks to add by 10. Am I finished with my work yet? No, because I have not put an answer. So I'm gonna combine, say it with me, I'm going to combine all of my base 10 blocks. So the first time I did 40 and then I did 50. But now I'm going to combine them. So when I'm done counting my 40, am I going to start again at 10? No, I will continue counting forward because I want to combine them. So count with me to see how much is 40 plus 50. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 40 plus 50 equals 
90. How will I check my work to make sure that this is correct? Well, I see that I have how many tens in the number 90? How many tens? Yes, nine tens in the number 90. Let me see how many tens I drew here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine tens gives me the number 90. Awesome. We're going to do another problem on the board. Let me try to give you guys a harder one because you guys are so smart. Let me try, let me try, let me try. What if I had something like this? 20 plus 60. Okay, walk me through it. What is my first step? My first step is to make sure that I'm coming to the number 20 and drawing base 10 blocks for 20. How many tens are in the number 20? So I see that there's a number two in my tens place, which lets me know that I'm drawing two base 10 blocks. This helps Mr. Nieves bringing my addition sign down to separate my numbers. Now I'm going to look at the number 60. I like to underline what number is in my tens place because that lets me know how many base tens I should draw. So how many am I drawing here? If you said 60, put your nose. All right. Oh, not 60, silly Mr. Nieves. If you said 6, touch your nose. All right. So how many am I going to draw? Six tens. Ready? 10. 20, 4, 6, and 60. Now I want to, what's that word I use? Yes, combine them to see how much I have in all. Let's count. You're going to count this time, and then at the end, we'll scream the answer together. I don't hear you. Let's try again. Ready? 10. Keep going. Eighty. Twenty plus sixty equals eighty. The way that I will check my work is I would see what numbers in my tens place eight, which means that all of these base ten blocks should equal eight. Let's count them: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome job! Now I'm gonna do one more because you guys are doing such a great job. I'm actually going to challenge you guys. So let's see if we can do this. What if we had this? Seventy plus thirty. Well, my first step I know is that I'm going to look at the number seventy, underline. What number is in my tens place? Seven. So that lets me know that I should have seven base ten blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. Bring my plus sign down. And how many am I going to draw here? Well, I will go to my tens place, underline the number three, and because I see the number three, I'm going to draw how many base tens? Yes, three. Okay, the last thing that I need to do is count them all together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. How will I write the number 100? Well, I know that 100 is how many tens? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 100 is 10 tens. How many ones do I have? Zero ones. 
even though I have a zero in my tens place, when I look closely at this number, I see the number 10 here. And I also notice that I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 tens and zero ones. If I was to break this down, just so that you guys can see that I'm telling the truth, my first place will be my ones place. Then I'll have my tens place. And this new place is called my hundreds place. But let's remember, this was a challenge. So you guys aren't going to be seeing three digit numbers because we are only adding two digit numbers. Today, you guys are going to be using your base 10 blocks to help you add. Remember, step number one, identify how many tens step number two draw them step number three combine we'll do one last problem together using our steps 40 plus 20 equals what Step number one is identify how many tens. I have four tens here. Step number two is draw it. One, two, three, four. Step number three is combine. Can I combine yet? No, because I haven't done my second number. So let me go back. Step number one, identify how many tens. Two tens. Step number two, draw them. One, two. And step number three, combine. Let's count them together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 is my answer. How many tens should I have here? I'm checking my work. Six tens. One, two, three, four, five, Six. You guys are going to go back into Google Classroom. And you guys are going to use your base 10 blocks to help you solve addition problems. Awesome job today. See you guys soon.